So in order to get attention in this world, you've got to be able to tell a good story. And I would like to work with you, work with myself, on being a better storyteller. One, two, three, listen. So where can we turn to do that? There's all sorts of places, but some fun ones that I'd rather start with the fun ones are things like Pixar, one of the great storytellers. The 22 rules of Pixar storytelling um, I have heard are not actually Pixar's real rules, but maybe somebody who is vlogging, vlogging from within Pixar. I don't know and I don't care because they're actually an interesting place to start. So let's start there. Pixar 22 rules of story is actually something that I, I leave on my wall because occasionally I want to have it in my brain. So uh, rule number one, let's just start there and occasionally I'll bring these rules up and we can explore them together. But this one is actually one of my favorite ones because you admire a character for trying more than their success. So let's break that sentence down. You admire a character for trying and you admire them more for their trying than for the success they may or may not have. My favorite example of this is the movie WALL-E. And in that movie, WALL-E is a very simple, charming character that doesn't have a, a deep base of knowledge. So everything's a surprise to him. He finds beauty in small things amongst all of his trash that he's working on, but his root programming was just to pick things up and put things down. They allowed him to encounter uh, success and victories through accidents. And at the end, he doesn't save the world. He didn't have the grand success. He was a precipitator of a bigger, hopeful future. And so we admire him for his charming being and his ability to be outside the norm of a robot because he had some uh, humanity to his AI. That's why we like that character. We like him because of him, not because of what he accomplished. So as we're storytelling and as we're writing and as, uh, you know, hey, filmmakers, as you're writing a screenplay, you know, the ending of that screenplay doesn't have to be what everybody hoped for the character at the beginning. You can change the game and be far more interesting. In fact, when it's that predictable, I would argue that most of the time it's a bit of a writing cop-out. Um, when you're in the advertising sector, you have less time to tell those stories. So there's maybe a little bit more of that predictability that you can allow. But even the best that, you know, just go back to thinking about the best advertisements... They're the ones who have more of a cinematic story arc that would apply here with you admiring the characters more for their characteristics and their state of being than it would be for the success they may or may not have. So something to think about today, one of the 22 rules, and it's great to get attention if you can tell a good story. So we're going to work on getting attention together. I will grow when you grow, you will grow when I grow, if we decide to actually do this together. So thank you so much for your attention. It means a great deal.